All right, so I want to talk a little bit about um, what we see in like in the weight rooms as far as like deadlifts and, and, and things like that. Um, so when, whenever we see somebody performing like a deadlift in the gym, we see the tripod foot, the you know the three points. We see the pull, and, and the problem is is that this don't really transfer to the athletic field. So what happens? When, what's really happening in, in the in the landing? pattern of somebody who lands real, real good and stays healthy and all of that is you'll see a, a, a strong side foot strike inside ankle bone high. They set a bow that, that kind of rotates with the chest. So you'll see these guys in their dig phase, like a, 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 a kind of just in the regular run gate, wherever they step in the chest and the kneecap kind of float out. Same thing with the back kneecap, like everything's pointed into this 22.5 degree direction from the, from the center. Right, so when we go in and we do a deadlift, it's kind of it's kind of here, like it's really not that we losing that that rotational element that happens in the drop in or in the landing. So what I think's happened is is over time, like you've seen all of these from the side view, you know, we see these this they they want to smash the foot into the ground. They believe that force into the ground. It's not the force into the ground that makes the athlete super fast and explosive. It's actually that that landing, that rotation, or that spiraling, right? Because everything in nature spirals. So what we've done and what we've created with with our with our deadlifts is, is we kind of went into this drop in where we build strength here. We could take and go single leg if we want. We could get the inside ankle bone high. We get the heel off the ground with the chuck. We go here, we, we internally rotate the back leg because that's what happens when the athlete leaves is this, okay? So if we set up here and we take any kind of weight or, or whatever we want and we set that bow and we dig into that corner, okay? And we work that drop in, okay? And it, it, my hamstring, my glute, my lateral calf, all of this is developing and it's developing with that inside ankle bone high. So whenever... Whenever we land, we can land and sustain this because we built up this equally to the inside. This calf has to be symmetrical. When the athlete leaves, they spiral around that fourth and fifth, okay? When that happens, it's gotta be able to sustain. So when we see these pulls, most of the problems that we see is when these guys go to pull, this happens, okay? Or we see, you know, the squats, the Olympic lifts, everything's happening here, we get this collapse in the knee. Well, then you start seeing the repetitive stress injuries, right? Or the non-contact. So, drop in. Once you get this drop in mastered, then you could go to put a weighted vest on. And this is just gonna get stronger and stronger. Once you get moving real good, superset that thing with a leaving, with a leaving, boom. Set it, leave. This tripod foot, and all of that stuff like that, and this this stuff here is nonsense. That's straight line, straight. That's not how these guys land, because that's gonna feed into this. We need to protect the athlete's knee. They need to land here, absorb, soak it into a spring, effect, and whoop, it closes. And it's fast and explosive when you tie it all together. If you're in there doing too much anti-rotational work, you're removing this rotational element out of the stride. So what needs to be done is, is everything needs to be categorized, right? We need to take Olympic lift and put it with the Olympic lift and if that's your sport, power lift and with the power lift and this is the new biomechanics. This is what we see in slow motion of the guy that stays healthy, of the guy that runs the 4-2, but goes and plays 16 games too. Not John Ross Jr. that can run a 4-2 but can't play. So whenever we go to the, um, the deadlift, I would remove it and go to the drop in, work that drop in, it's kind of the same thing. You're getting all of this built, but it's building it in that spiral. It's building in that landing that you could sustain. <laughs> My foot may seem like it's all on the ground, okay? But I'm really applying pressure to this part right here. That's what we want to do.